our DJ booth right here. That's the brand new uh, Bud Gear Command Center. Yes, that's the brand new one. And it is clean up in person. Oh my God, it looks so crazy. white space this is actually where all the videos on the DJ's vault are filmed I have a special video for you guys because not only do we have a very special guest but we are also going to be taking a look at a brand new piece of equipment the command center from my friend ladies and gentlemen make some noise for mr. Joe Bunn himself what's up everybody yes welcome to the white space oh, I'm, I'm excited to be here if you guys don't follow joe follow him it should be somewhere on the screen right now on instagram i've seen him use uh, a similar version of this this is a completely remake completely it's remade today. talk to me about the story behind this guy right here yeah man so this has been a project in the making for probably three years the original company that we were making the fiberglass version okay. that you've seen me use in the past yes. that was fiberglass okay. this is aluminum actually this is one of the only prototypes types in existence right now. I do want to preface this video by saying this is a prototype, so this is not the actual final final. Pump. Where did you come up with the idea for the original design? Yep. And now, how, what are the improvements that you've sure. taken from that design sure. to give us this one here? So we did a lot of surveying when we first like put this out to the market. Okay. And we were saying, look, here are some different shapes. So we had a table shape. Okay. And the main thing with the table was people were like, I don't want to see the DJ's legs. I don't okay. want people to see my legs. Okay. I don't know why, yeah. but that was an overwhelming response. Yeah. Good point. I love my facade. I like them to only see yeah, my legs. Yeah, yeah. From here up, <laughs> my, my fat. Okay. So we was like, okay, let's stick to this traditional T shape. Okay. And there was a, a booth I uh, bought from Germany uh, years ago that was this kind of T shape. Not mobile at all. Pretty, mm -hmm. but belongs in a studio or at your Heavy. office. Heavy. Yeah. Not mobile. Didn't break down well. Not mobile. It's lighter. Okay. It is uh, sleeker, and it is so much easier to break down. I mean, literally, it's got six thumb screws that we'll show you on the other side yes. to take it apart. This goes in a bag. The base plate and the rack go in another it's bag. It's two pieces. Yeah, three. Three pieces. pieces. Three pieces. Base plate, uh, rack. column, yeah. rack, and yeah. the actual top itself. Exactly. Okay. So you got three pieces. It's gonna go into two different bags. Another thing that I really wanted to improve upon was we had that middle you know, space in the old fiberglass booth and it was just wasted. Everybody kept saying, how can I rack mount my gear in, a, in an oval? It was an oval piece. Yeah. So finally I was like, you know what? Let's, let's, have, a, let's, let's have a rack in this. And again, this one's a prototype. So you won't have a rack all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom because as you can tell, you need to access these screws to put this together. So right. you'll have a blank here in a, in a blank there, and you'll have like a 10 U rack space is what we think. Essentially, you need to be able to feed your hands through there, Correct. so that's why it's not top to bottom. Correct. That's how the whole thing goes together, by the way. But these yep. little thumb screws. Uh, we do sell these rack shelves as an accessory as well. As you can tell, this is the prototype. The other one is much deeper. It goes back further, but still allows enough gap to run your lines down to your powered speakers. So what I did was I took this wire loom from a stereo shop here in town, a car stereo shop. All I did was run my power from my power strip, and then I made two little shorty cords, uh, power cords that go into the power strips, and then I got two short XLRs. And so basically I've got my left and right speaker, and then my one cable all the way to the wall. I see some punch holes yep. here. Is yep. this how the uh, stock one is gonna ship? It will. With these punch holes, so DJs have the option, I'm Correct. assuming, to go center, left, right. Yep, or to have two or three laptops if you want to. I see that you can angle this. Uh, this is yep. to angle it here, yep. this little lever. Yep. That's so, to angle the laptop to your yep. position of choice. Like a, um, almost like a 10-speed bike wheel release. Yeah. And so you can do this. Uh, and the other thing that I like to show on this bar, if you look at this, you can see these screw plates. Yes. So I have it cheated forward because I have short arm, but you could also move the plate back. 
That is a clever design yeah. because I am just like you. I like to have my laptop really close to yeah. me, kind of almost over the equipment. Yeah. So I was talking to Christopher, the, the girl that was at NAMM. She was having a hard time even reaching this far. The thing that stabilizes this, and it'll be a little bit different in the, in the uh, real unit because this O-ring right here is gonna have a thumb screw so it can't spin. You could take these out turn that around and mount it here, and you could technically bring this even closer, closer to you. Yeah. yeah, and those are mods that people can do once they people. get it and figure out what they're comfortable with. We're gonna mod these things out, and we'll definitely keep you posted, you know, as people send in pictures, we'll put them on Instagram and up on the site. The only thing that you'll see that I have not installed yet is the antenna kit, which is also for sale at bungear.com. And that's, and that's gonna go here. on these two ports. So these are Neutrik, Okay. Uh, BNC connectors. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the antenna that would either be under this lid or even worse, inside a metal rack and you're moving them to the flanges of the top part. Gotcha. So you have an antenna here and you have an antenna on this side. We changed that last yeah. minute and added those holes. If you don't want to use the antenna kit, you can always just blank those holes off. This was a concern of mine. Mm -hmm. The cutouts for each one, how are you going to go about that? You know, there's Denon, there's Pioneer, yeah, yeah. there's Newmark, so, there's so many different companies. In the checkout box at bungear.com, when you check out, you pick which kind of controller or setup you have. And I think we've got 15 or 20 in there, and then I'm sure we have a write-in box if we don't. Basically, that is the only piece that really needs to be customized, right? Okay. So the other question I get a lot is, what if I want to change my controller? That's where this rail system comes into play inside. And what you guys will see here is this is super, super smart. These rails or these bridges, if you will, can move up and down and left and right. Rick Webb, we just put a, a, a SC in his booth, right? Yes. So what did we have to do? We had to move these rails out and then we had to drop them down because it's fatter than this SX3. We had to do a little shimmying, you know what I mean? To get yeah. it kind of flush with that top. In fact, even mine, if you look at it right now, is a little bit high and we need yeah. to drop it down. That's pretty flush. I yeah. mean, I'll take I that can, all day. As yeah. you guys can see, there is a little bit of a rise yeah, I there, drop it down a but um, it's not too bad. The only time you have to mess with those rails are if you tra change controllers or the very first day that you get it. Now, walk us through the back. What are some yeah. of the accessories that you're going to be offering? I know there are some enhancements that you yeah. can make. So I'll I'll start with the top. As you notice, I put a cup holder in here. This isn't even an accessory. Oh, that cup holder it doesn't come no, with it. No, it's, oh, it's just a mop. On the website at bungear.com, under the frequently asked questions, I put the links to these. You get a four pack on Amazon for like $15. And you just take a door hole saw. Yeah. You can go on the left, right. You can go wherever you want the cup holder to be. If you want to do a cup holder, it's just a mod. These though are what we sell. We call them the hook. They just come right off. So when you transport them, they don't get messed up. That's clever. They there. just go here. I got my headphone here. It's the exact same here. Check it out. It's a mic holster. Boom. Your yep. sidearm. Yep. Branding, I get asked that a lot because people don't want branding on it. It's just going to have a simple vinyl sticker on here. Actually, I just put these on this one on today. Not for nothing, it would have turned a lot of people off if you had a I big know. bun logo I right know. here <laughs> in the front, which is probably something that you could do if you order your own decals. Yeah, I see people wrapping these. Yeah. I see people probably taking them to a body shop and painting in them their brand colors. Yeah. I think a wrap is the smartest thing because it'll peel right off and you're not going to mess up this powder coating at all. This is a equal opportunity, right? It comes in both white and black. Yeah, exactly. White yes. and black. Um, there's pictures at, at Bun Gear on the Instagram yes. and pictures on the website as well. We are going into the final production now and shipping on March 2nd. So they're building them now and then the last phase will be powder coating them. In fact, I was telling Bar, uh, even today I was sending him an email about making it just a little bit glossier so that you can clean them. One of my biggest concerns when I first saw this, and yeah. I think you've addressed in a couple of uh, videos, but I'm not sure if this is true. Walk me through the transportation because originally I think you mentioned that you weren't going to be able to transport your yeah. console in here. I'll give you this answer. It is not a road case, but if you have what is called a deck saver, these deck savers, and you have some really industrial, Velcro, then you can leave your controller in the top. Now, Bun Gear is not going to be responsible for that. You have a three piece unit, Techniques 1200s, the Rain 72, and the Rain 12s. I would not do this. Too many pieces, you have to have more of these bridges, but a full size controller, even an SZ, will ride in the top of this. So I took a strip of Velcro and did it all the way from the front, right? Front to the back, and it's sitting on those rails. I mean, I'll show you how strong. You can hear it trying to come loose, but I'm like legit straining. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. 
And then again, with the deck saver on top, you're gonna protect those knobs when you go in the bag first. So we're gonna be shipping these booths out. Our hope is uh, March 2nd out of um, Midland Park, New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey, yes. The launch special is still gonna go on at least till the end of March. What is the launch special? So the launch special is gonna be going on when this video still drops. It's $1,999. You're gonna get the command center. You're gonna get these hooks for the mic and the headphone holder, laptop stand, of course, and you're also going to get the bags, which we're gonna show in just a second, to transport the top and the rack and the base plate. So these are it right here, guys. These Ooh. are the transport bags. Oh, wow, they are uh, They're heavy very heavy. nice. Yeah, nice they didn't, quality they didn't play around yeah. at all on these. They'll have the branding on them. That's about the only difference in this top bag. Um, and a little bit different where the laptop stand rides. So on this that. is also a prototype uh, bag. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're seeing the early, early oh, stuff. This is awesome, yeah. Uh, so this is the first look, guys. Yes. This is, uh, you're getting it here first. GoPro. GoPro, throw it no, up. No zipper to break. Boom. Good call on that. And again, when you first get them, they're gonna be snug. Yeah. Again, all Velcro. Your base plate's in here. They're not touching at all. You got that divider. There you go. Boom. Literally three and a half, four minute, five minute tear down at the longest. Even if you wired everything up, it probably wouldn't take much longer than five, ten minutes. All right, bros. So once you have everything ready to go, you roll up to the venue. You have your command center right here. You got the bags. Easy tear down. What did you say? It was about five minutes or so? I mean, at the most. That's like if you're being slower. Thank you, bro, so much for watching this video. And once more, thank you to the man, Joe Bonham. If you have any questions about anything we just discussed, leave them down in the comments below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Like this video if you like this. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we shoot another video here at the White Space, Raleigh, North Carolina. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.